Okay, so goal setting. When you start thinking about your goals, and here's, here's the thing with goals, I'm horrible with goals. I am so like airy-fairy with my goals. I'm just like out there, well, I just wanna feel good, and I just want, you know, like I have to really pin myself down, because I'm super, super vague. So I have to work really, really, really hard to get myself nailed down on some goals. So keep asking why you want the goals that you want, and keep making it more and more specific. Most people have heard of SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, and realistic. Like, like how will you know when you reach your goal? How will you know? And then rewards-based, like, you know, what are you gonna do for yourself when you keep on track? Um, EJ Fogg, who's a big tiny habit guy from Stanford, he's real big on, like when he, and I, we'll talk more about tiny habits at some point, but one point about tiny habits, he's big on how you build a habit. You anchor the habit to something that you always do. So, I want to meditate in the morning. gym, you, you guys know, I carry like 10 bags with me, I'm like a bag lady. I walk into the gym, I put them all down in there, and then I do downward dog for 30 seconds. Like, that was my goal. Just stretch more. Okay, so little. BJ Fogg gives the example, I need to floss my teeth, my goal is to floss my teeth. When I, I don't know what his deal is, I walk in the bathroom, every time I walk in the bathroom, I floss one tooth for two seconds. One tooth for two seconds. Tiny. Super tiny. Because pretty soon you go, oh, I've lost one, and then I've lost another one, right? It's tiny, really tiny. Okay, so it's the reason to keep the floss. What's that? It's a waste of floss. It's a waste of floss. <laughs> right, you might as well do more. The hard part is getting wrapped around the floor. 